as I am Season Salt, your host, bringing you the HOC promo series for this is game two between World Alliance and ASM. ASN. Migrove, Lebmont, Persephone, Q, Helm, and Valox are the bands here for game two. I'm now going to bring you our starting lineups here for World Alliance. Actino playing Sia, Will Stars playing RTQ, Moshi playing uh, Critics, Sugar Daddy playing Daliana, and Helino playing Frost Zell. For ASN, we got Chimgoy playing the Harvester, Kuzdor being played by 0963987006, Volandis being played by Vietnam. Yes. Kauchu playing Daliana and Triudo playing Elf. Sure. It's alright, MTS. We'll get it right. Game one wasn't live, unfortunately, it was not live on Twitch. I do have a local recording of the game, which will be on the YouTube channel. Shortly after this game is over, I'm gonna upload the games. But with that being said, yes. let us prepare for what hopefully will be a fantastic match. That game one, the longest team fight I have ever seen. The Harvester so far seeing a 50-50 performance. Some people playing it really bad, some people playing it really good. But nevertheless, we still we are seeing the Harvester more and more frequently in these later stages of the tournament. I'm not sure if teams are just picking him for the sake of having a new champion in and, and maybe confusing people with his mechanics. Kauchu and Sugar Daddy are going to be trading some heavy blows here. Here comes a teleport. Not going to be in time. DRT. Kauchu taking up that first blood. Sugar Daddy going to be the first one to pay the price there. Yes. Yes. And let's go. Moshi diving right in. The critics. Getting taken down low. Looks like he's going to go down. It is a one-for-one one trade. Sure. To be honest, definitely Harvester seems like a pick more that a lot of people haven't seen him. So, you know, people are going to be like, oh, he's OP or whatever. It's just a mechanic that a lot of people aren't used to seeing yet. Because I believe he's still a lottery champion at the time of this match. So people that have them, you know, I think just use him more for the wow factor than actual uh, skill that the champion brings to a match. And it looks like Kuzdor and Balandis are going to have a little bit of fun here. They see Sia coming in. Oh, there goes Sia getting caught out of there. Just as I say that, Sia almost getting uh, destroyed. Moshi's going to come with the backup. There goes RTQ with the dive. Moshi ends up picking a kill up on Kuzdor. I apologize. I had to choose one or the other. And it looks like the bot lane is where the success is at. With 3.36 on the clock right now. 1,000 gold lead here for... World Alliance. And it looks like maybe a potential gank. Who's we'll see. It looks like the harvester is gonna head back up. Alright. And yet again, another team fight, unfortunately. Sugar Daddy is gonna be the one to pick up that kill. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to be a little quicker picking up these team fights. I don't want to miss too many more of these. Yes. With 
I'll be moving considerably faster around the map. Looks like <laughs> RTQ and the Harvester are just going to walk away from each other. Well, let's see what this trade brings here. There we go. It's going to be a little bit of a 2v2 action here. Harvester getting chipped down pretty low. Daliana now. Trying to turn up the heat there. Harvester, is he going to go down? Yep, there he goes. Frostel picks up a kill there. Volandis will manage to get away, which is a definite good thing. Oh, RTQ dives over. Looks like he's going to be able to survive that. Now we have Kauchu versus Sugar Daddy here. Sugar Daddy is going to receive a teleport. Looks like it's going to be in time. Yes. Moshi is on fire here on this bot lane as Kuzdor goes down. And I'm being forced to choose between these team fights. Yes. As World Alliance is going to be working here. On the dragon, it looks like they'll be able to secure dragon pretty quick. ASN nowhere to be found. Looks like they're gonna take this time to shove lanes. I understand. Right now, it's pretty much all about following Moshi. So I'm probably going to take more time and follow Moshi around. Oh, see you getting caught out of position. Very dangerous indeed. Elf trying to come in and seal the deal. Not going to get the kill there. And now Helino needs to be careful as this matchup with Elf can get a little strange. As Belandis now will wait in the bushes. I think that is their ward. All right. And of course, there goes another kill I missed. GG. Looks like Sugar Daddy's the one to pick up a kill there. And as soon as I go up here, Moshi takes down Kuzdor again. It doesn't matter where I go because every time I go somewhere else, a team fight breaks out on the opposite side of the map. And there goes the stun. Sia in quite a bit of trouble. RTQ going to come out. Nice job there by Frostel to pick up the kill. 8 to 1 is the score. And seven minutes in, and they're putting the squeeze in. Looks like Actino is going to continue damaging the tower. Now with the help of Moshi and Helino. There goes Moshi right in. Look how much damage he's doing. Makes quick work of Elf. And now that they're bunching up, it's going to be way easier to catch some of these team fights. And it looks like Acritix is going to get away with another kill. So Moshi is on fire right now. Here comes Kuzdor trying to pick off Sia. Is it going to be enough? Looks like Sugar Daddy takes down Kauchu. And does Moshi make it out alive? Nice ultimate. Now they're going to turn in on him. There goes the sneak. And he's going to use it to disengage. So... Your help is oh, she almost gets taken out. Manages to get back to base. 12 to 1 is the score. 8.40 on the clock. Sure. Your health is fading. 
Tower destroyed. Nice job there by RTQ to finish up the tower, but it's going to draw some attention there from Kauchu, and it looks like RTQ will pray uh, will pay the price there. He goes down. ASN finally getting another kill here. 9:23 on the clock. 11,000 gold lead. Excuse me, 9,000 gold lead. Nice job there. Moshi's finally going to get taken down. Elf getting a huge bonus with that kill. Now Sia's going to have to drop her poison trail to disengage. She's hitting everybody. Nice job getting Helena out there. Out of that situation. But unfortunately Sia will probably... Yeah, never mind. There goes RTQ with the save. Nice job. Sugar Daddy with the backup gets the kill. Frostel picking up a kill on uh, Harvest there. Daliana now with the triple kill. And that could be a mortal blow right there. That could be a game winning push as if the game wasn't sealed already. They're going to be pushing up this middle turret. And they're going to make quick work of it here. Seven seconds until Volandis comes up. The Harvester just coming up. There goes a the surrender vote. It is denied. They are going to continue to play the tower. The fifth tower of the game is going to go down. World Alliance now starting to pour into the base. They're all up. Belandis taking huge damage there. He's going to have to disengage. Elf pops her ultimate. Is going to be able to get out just in time. Kauchu going to get absolutely destroyed there by Moshi. The Harvester will pick up a revenge kill here. And can ASN bring something from... Can they come back at all? It doesn't look like it. It looks like they're going to use this time to heal out. RTQ is going to charge in. Lasers will fire, but nobody will fall. World Alliance now working on the dragon. You can see there. Heading over. Belanda's heading out to see if they're attacking Yuha. But they're not there. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. Yes. Oh boy, there goes Kauchu in a lot of trouble there. There you go, Moshi with another kill. Jumps right past the tower. Kuzdor taking quite a bit of damage. Trying to avenge his teammate there. Looks like Sugar Daddy's going to get a kill there. Belandis goes down. 20 to 4. And I don't want to count anybody out, but it's definitely looking like... Uh, Definitely looking like World Alliance might have this one in the bag. They're going to go for their sixth tower. And there we go again. Sugar Daddy with another kill. Gets a double. Kuzdor getting taken down there. RTQ going to draw some aggro there from the turret. Sugar Daddy's going to jump right in. There goes Harvest with his jump in. Turret aggro is going all over the place now. They're going to be able to... Oh, there goes a triple, baby. Sugar Daddy's on fire. Tower destroyed. And there goes another barracks. And this looks like it could be the end for ASN's dream. They will be going against DRT tomorrow. And that most certainly is the end of the game there. 13, 38 on the clock, and they are starting. Minions are starting to pour in to the base. Kuzdor trying to do a little bit of damage. Moshi's going to get caught out of position. He does not manage to get away. Belanda's taking him down, but it doesn't look like it's going to mean much of anything. As Helino is just chipping away at the tower, Belanda's can do so little right now to help his team. And that, ladies and gentlemen, half health. We 
Let's take down Belandis Harvester. Oh, look at that. 270 crit. 251 crit. He goes down. Galeana can't do anything. There goes a... Oh, there goes a triple for Helino. 1430. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen... That is going to be the end of the game. 14.33 on the clock, and World Alliance is going to be moving on to the finals to face Rich, a rematch of the HOC Promo Series 3. And it's going to be a lot of fun.